Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Pack. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the tools I use to start doing product research and how I find products every single day to sell on Amazon. So we're going to go over the specific software tool I use so that you guys can also find your products to sell because you can't just start selling random products or start thinking about things off the top of your head. If you have something innovative, then go nuts, go do something. But you cannot just think about like, all right, I wanna sell condoms, let's just go sell them right now. No, you need to learn how to analyze the market, make sure that it makes sense, that it makes money, and that it can provide value to everyone else. So don't just start thinking about no random ass products and start sourcing those up right now, or even think about sourcing iPhone cases or a purse or anything like that. Don't do any of that. You need to know how to go into this so you don't lose 10 grand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into the computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the tool I use to find products that are actually worth selling and validating them as well. Now I already have a video on product validation and how to see if a product is worth selling or not. But in today's video, we're gonna specifically go over Helium 10 and how to use it and how to use it to find winning products. So before we get into the computer, I'm gonna show you guys my sales for today. And that's what I got so far. So we got four sales today, 11 a.m. It is the week after Christmas and this is such a dead season. So you guys saw I made over $99,000, almost $100,000 in the past 30 days. I have one of my products that are sold out and they're currently being processed back into it right now and I have one live. Once January hits, things are gonna start picking back up, but this dead season sucks right now. This whole week after Christmas, everyone out here is not making anything, which is a normal, normal thing. So once January comes back on, after the New Year's sales are gonna start picking up, I probably won't be back at the 100K mark per month, but I'll at least be back at my normal sales, which is about 15K a month to like 25K a month. So somewhere around there. So stay tuned for that. You guys are gonna see all the ups and downs. So I'm trying to be transparent with you guys and not just show you some fake numbers. I had my high points of December and now we're gonna be going through the low points, but there's no need to freak out because things are gonna be picking back up and I'm launching more products. It's all good to go. All right, so we are on the Helium 10 website right now. So this is what's gonna be key for your product research, guys. So the plan that I use is the Platinum plan. So this is what you guys are gonna want because the other ones don't include everything. Um, you wanna use the Platinum plan because it includes the black box, it includes the magnet, Cerebro, scribbles, keyword tracker, all that good stuff. So the Platinum one is the one I recommend. And if you guys want this plan, the link is in the description for a discount code that I got for you guys. So go ahead, click on that link to use it. But this is the Platinum plan. It's gonna have all the tools you want. And I swear, this guy, this is like the, the game changer that's gonna help you find winning products and launch winning products to make them successful. So it's a must to have this. I, I don't go into this business without using this now. So what you're gonna do is you're once you have the plan, you're gonna go into the black box, Amazon products research. And now we're gonna go in here and we're going to start filtering this through. So if you watch my product validation video, go ahead, check that out if you haven't already, but there's a certain criteria that we're gonna go on. But we're gonna go through something here pretty randomly, but it's gonna fit into the numbers that I would want, okay? So we are going to go and select category. Today, what do I feel like looking at? Let's go into, let's see. Let's go into kitchen and dining. We'll go into kitchen and dining. And we'll look for something that's around 6,000 in uh, monthly revenue with a maximum of like 13,000. Uh, Price range, let's go with $15 to like $19, whatever. Review count, we wanna be less than 150, so we're gonna put like 140. You wanna put different numbers so that everyone doesn't end up finding the same product and you end up in a saturated market. So put random numbers in, but within the range that I tell you, um, or that, that I recommend, okay? So it's all based off of your goals and what you wanna look for. Now, review rating, max review rating, we don't need to put that. We're gonna look for a small or a large standard size. And we're gonna make sure that the fulfillment is by FBA, because that's what we do. And we hit search. 
boom. So now we have a bunch of products that are up here that are within our uh, filter and our uh, category. So, all right, so let's go through here and start looking through everything we got. Collapsible wine glasses. All right, here's something interesting. A universal silicone glass lid for pots and pans. Oh, so it looks like you can use multiple. It's a silicone glass lid. So it's not going to burn your hands and you can put it over multiple types of uh, pots and pans of different sizes. Uh, go under all here and we'll go search the main keyword for pots and pans. Okay. So that looks like something similar to the product that we had. All right, now let's see what kind of money this market is making. All right, cool. So now we're gonna sort this from the highest revenue to the lowest. And then now we're gonna make sure that we're filtering through and Xing out of uh, products that are not relevant. So this product is not the same. This product is not the same. This product is the same. This product is not the same. That looks the same. That looks the same. That looks the same. That looks the same. All right, so now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten products that are uh, of this. Okay, so now we're gonna filter through and look at the high demand and low competition of this product to see if this surface level, if this will pass at least the surface level of this criteria, okay? So the first part is looking for that high demand, low competition, but there's much more. So you gotta check if there's patents, you gotta check if there's, uh, if this is a restricted, restricted product, you gotta see if you're able to differentiate this and look at the profit margin. So we're gonna look at just seeing how this is a potential product just by the numbers itself. So monthly revenue, we got 29,000, 18,000, 13,000, 12, nine, seven, six, six, and five. So these are all above 5,000. Um, so of these first 10, they're all making money. So this is clearly a high demand product. Now let's look at reviews. So there are one, two, three, four, five, five out of 10 that are over, um, over 150, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products that are under 150 that are making money, that are making over $5,000. So that's a very, very good sign that there's room to enter the market and make some money and steal a piece of the pie. So this whole market right here, if we look at this whole thing and we add up all these numbers right here, uh, the 20,000 all the way down to 5,000, I don't know how much this is gonna be. Maybe you only wanna take about 10% of the market right there. So if the whole market is $100,000 and you're only taking 10% of it, then you're making $10,000 a month in revenue. Okay, so that's being in like the top 10, that means, okay? If you're taking 10%, you're probably gonna be in the top 10. So there is room for, for uh, you to make money on here. Now you just, from this point on, you have to figure out how can I make this product better? What is missing in this market? How do I stand out? Because you can't just throw up the same product as everyone else where it's just these black lids. You gotta think of a way that's gonna make it better. So this one, this one compared to this one, there's a different handle on there. See how there's a different handle? So you gotta figure out, is there a different style that you can take of this product? A different color? Talk to suppliers. But that's the power of uh, Black Box, Helium 10's Black Box. This is the, the first uh, the first step into finding potential products like this that could potentially make you an additional $5,000 a month. And then it's up to you from there to filter through and find out 
how you can make that product better, how you can make it more valuable and beat the competitors out of there, okay? So that is the key right there. Super simple, super straightforward. This video is just for you guys to understand um, what the first step is to start finding products to sell on Amazon, okay? So hopefully this was very, very helpful for you guys. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button so you can, guys can stay tuned for more content. Uh, for those who have been subscribed already, and I've get, been getting a lot of messages about helping people out and um, actually putting out more content and maybe providing coaching and stuff. So I am currently working on a course right now just to update, update you guys. So it's gonna be a course, it's not gonna be a crazy expensive course or anything like that, but it's gonna be a step-by-step -step course uh, made by myself with a lot of tools in there and uh, PDF files that are gonna help you guys execute your business, okay? and take you through everything step by step from finding a product to getting it shipped to the Amazon warehouse to launching the product, maintaining sales and getting prepared for big seasons like Q4, okay? So that is uh, just a nice little update for you guys. Um, I expect to be done with it by the end of January to early February, somewhere around there is when I'll launch the course, but just stay tuned. I'll provide you guys more updates. If you haven't already, join the Amazon Business Society Facebook group if you guys wanna meet other people that are also on this Amazon journey. And also, I will be on there keeping update with you guys, um, answering questions along with uh, providing um, with the release date of the course. So subscribe for more updates and then smash that like button if you really like this video. So other than that, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Go make that money. Thank you.